Hello everyone, it's your friend Sen, and welcome to uh, Kingdom Hearts Weekly uh, or Community Report. I'll just say Community Report because um, uh, I wanted to just check out Kingdom Hearts community in general. It's like, obviously, Amino is like more the focus thing because that's where we're all at, right? Um, this is where we hang out. But, um, yeah, uh, I just wanted to, uh, mention, say, apologize for not being here last week because my mom slipped on ice and hurt her head real bad while walking to church, but she's getting better now. Nothing's wrong. We've got a scan by the doctor and everything, so... She's getting better. We used lots of stuff to uh, make the swelling go down, and she's almost almost all the way better. Anyway, um, but thinking about that, you know, just you know, one of those things, you know, I was thinking, you know, since my mom's very very uh, faithful in her uh, church, I would think I was thinking maybe I should share something I learned from the scriptures or whatever uh, while I've been going to church and you know I think one thing I can share that relates to Kingdom Hearts very much is this one quote and it goes like this the light shineth through the darkness and the darkness comprehendeth it not and I think you know Kingdom Hearts one really portrays that very well, especially at the end where, you know, Ansem, Seeker of Darkness, is trying to get the power of Kingdom Hearts, but then Sora reveals that Kingdom Hearts isn't darkness, but it's light. So you can't harness the power of light with darkness. They're opposites. They're not compatible. And so, it's just interesting that somehow, even though he's this brilliant antagonist able to fool Maleficent and Riku and, you know, whoever else, it, he somehow couldn't comprehend that Kingdom Hearts was light. Yet, we have Sora, this, just this kid, that totally gets it, totally comprehends it. I think, you know, we also see this again in Kingdom Hearts 3, where Xehanort is trying to get rid of darkness by, uh, or the rule of darkness, how everything's consumed in darkness at then, by controlling everyone's fates. And he uses darkness to get to that point. It's just like, and Sora looks at him, he's just like, you want to control everyone's fates to keep di everything from being consumed in darkness. And do you really think you're the right person to do that? Yeah. It's, you know, Xehanort had never, it seems like he never really did any self-reflecting on that, that particular thought. But, yeah, uh, just, just one thing I thought was kind of, you know, really related really well to Kingdom Hearts. Anyway, um, back to the report. Um, so I wanted to cover some things other than Amino, just because there was it's not too much to cover right now. But, um, something. Uh, so we all have. The feature feed here, so we have this really cool piece of artwork by uh, Soriku Vibes. It's uh, Sora in uh, Venti's uh, outfit. It's really cool. Anyway, I'll let you check it out. Um, but it's definitely worth looking at. I think it's pretty awesome. Soriku always does really great artwork, in my opinion. 
Um, and then these were pretty fun. The these quotes, they're pretty funny. I had a good laugh laughing at those. Um also I am very much in favor of this. Yes, we we need this. Looks like Snoog is too. <laughs> um, but yeah. Very much in favor of this. And um let's see. Uh Clever and still doing the sticker thing, so you wanna get some amino coins that Clever and's offering. You know. Try and guess the most accurate. Um there's some other things in here that were pretty cool. Oh, like this, the AI art. That was really awesome. I know it's AI art, but yeah, it's cool. Uh, I mean, it, it gives you at least some really good concept art, if nothing else. If it can't be used for anything else, at least concept art. Um, oh yeah, somehow I missed this. I just recently stumbled upon this. Uh, this cool play, it, it's pretty cool. I say it's definitely worth checking out as well. Lots of fun things in there. Um, and then we have the polls. There was one thing. Oh yeah, I would admit. I don't know why Boo is so high up on here. Maybe because she's in Kingdom Hearts 3. But, you know, I, I just feel like Boo is an overrated character. Mostly because she doesn't really do much in the film or the video game. So it's like... A, where Jack Jack, yeah, sure, he's not in the video game, but he has his own short dedicated to him, and for a couple of shorts, I believe. So, yeah. Um, Jack Jack is in, he's got so many freaking powers, tons of powers. It is, and his fight with that raccoon was just incredible in the second incredible movie. It was amazing. Oh, that, that, that's just my opinion on that. Oh, yeah. This thing right here, just one thing I want to say about, like, the redemption of Terra. I just feel like the one thing I felt strange about it was, like, out of everyone, like, okay, Aqua didn't age because she was in the realm of darkness. Ventus didn't age because he didn't have a heart in his body and Tara it just seems like I feel like he should age because he had a heart in his body it wasn't his heart but he still had one in there so I feel like his body should have aged I like that's the one thing that kind of bothers me a little bit about Kingdom Hearts 3 it seems like the only consequence in the end is Sora disappearing there's no other like scars left behind maybe emotional scars but nothing physical anyway that's just my opinion on that um just gonna go over this one this was one thing that i found on cage 13 that i thought was really cool um apparently shiro amano has made some new artwork that has all the organization members playing you know musical instruments they're all very fitting to their characters anyway and then um i guess like there's some other things on here like on that i haven't seen on our end it's like another cameo on disney plus someone's playing Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, we also have uh, the new, uh, what do you call it? New volume of manga available. Uh, and then, a lot of this is just merch for the most part. Uh, this one's pretty cool the boundary break. You're able to look at all Sora's room. And I guess one other thing they said was. That was interesting was looking at other places in Halloween Town that you don't see. But yeah, that's about it. Um for that 
And then last little bit of news is Game Rejoint. Uh, what's it kind? What is interesting? What kind of isn't interesting? I this is kind of interesting in my opinion. Uh, he's mostly just talking about how it's a fake leak, though. Um, uh, then we also have uh, uh, this one. I I have opposing opinions, but don't. I've never quite seen exactly eye to eye with cynical, but that's okay. It's it. It's good to have different opinions. Um, I thought this was really cool. The Chino kids, like, I just I gotta get it at some point and play it. For some reason, this scene right here really reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. You know, with the cards and the greenery. Just, just saying, very Alice in Wonderland looking, right there. Um, and then this was kind of funny, I guess, but yeah, that's, that's about it for like, if you're interested in looking at anything, you're looking, you need more Kingdom Hearts info somewhere, because it's kind of, oops, forgot that one, doesn't work. Don't click on following feed. I meant to click on the home button. Anyway, that's about it uh, for this week. Uh, if today's your birthday, happy birthday. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next week. If nothing else goes wrong. <laughs> Fingers crossed, or saying your prayers, something like that. Anyway, we'll see y'all. Bye-bye.